Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, if you don't know, this is a Magic Review channel. That's right, every single day I review the latest and greatest in magic tricks. My name is David and I'm a magician, been a magician for over 40 years and so I offer you all of that experience Monday through Friday as I review the latest and the greatest in magic tricks. On the weekends, we look at playing cards and every single month I do giveaways. That's right, every year I give away thousands of dollars worth of magic tricks. And so before you forget, hit like, subscribe and follow. I wanna save you money, all right? This has been a really fun week, really fun week, lots Lots of really cool effects this week. This week has been something I've been looking forward to for a really long time. Um, it, and it's just like, wow, 2024 is already kicking off to be a great year. Today, we're gonna look at the painting from Kmar Magic, which is Liam Montier and Dead Rebel Productions. What is the painting? Well, if you've watched my channel, you know that uh, Dead Rebel has kind of like a, a vintage, cowboy, gothic, kind of Victorian era theme, right? None of their props look like magic props or anything that you've seen already out there, right? It, you're, these look completely uh, original, completely unique. So in this, in, you're gonna get a picture. It's a picture of uh, two birds of paradise and they're in a rainforest and you say it's this cryptic painting that was collected by the secret society on the back of the painting there's this really strange poem and you have a copy right you have a copy it was taken from uh, uh, one of those little postcard collections where they collect postcards of birds and so the you have the picture on one side the poem on the other and what that ends up becoming is a prediction but they don't know that yet you then bring out this kind of like strange deck of cards that has all these different graphics and you show every single card to be different. You turn the deck over and then you have them select a card. When they look at it, they have the skull card. There's a card with you know, some really beautiful imagery, but in that, you know, prominently, is a skull, a human skull. You then guide them back to that picture, kind of have them look at the picture again. Maybe they might squint their eyes or maybe you hold it at a distance and say, I think you can see there's another image, like a picture in picture happening here. And they say yes, and you say, what, what does this look like? And they say a human skull. And you say, what, what card did you pick? And they say the human skull. And then after that, as a kicker, you turn the prediction card over and go back through the poem and you show them in the poem the secret word that says human skull. Let's talk about it. All right, let's say you pay 40 bucks for this trick. What are you gonna get? Uh, the first thing you get is the box that this all comes in. And it looks like it would be uh, the box maybe that the deck of cards is sold in or, or maybe even the prediction because it's all these different postcards. And you could say this is the box, you know, that the, the vintage postcards came in and I keep the postcard and a deck of cards inside this box. And that's one of the things I love so much about Dead Rebel is that they don't just make this fancy packaging and then you toss it, right? Or you leave it in your closet. Most, if not all of Dead Rebel's uh, packaging you can keep and carry as part of the effect. So that's pretty cool. Here's your prediction card. And as you can see, it's a picture of two very colorful birds sitting in a nest. You'll get two of these. So uh, you have a backup just in case you need a backup or uh, you can bring them both out to display both sides. But one of the things that I've liked to do recently is you take one of them and fold them and then you can wrap it around the cards with a rubber band and then you can keep it all together. But then you also have a second card that's nicer that you can use as a display. And of course, like I said, on the back side of this is a poem. And you'll get this little box of cards. It says popular playing cards and it looks like it would be kind of like a vintage deck of cards. And again, packaging, packaging is key. I love the packaging on this. And like I said, you could leave it like this or you could fold the prediction card up and stick it inside this box, or uh, take everything out of the box and wrap it up with a rubber band. Here's the back side of the cards. And as you can see, it is a one-way design and it's just vintage flowers, right? And I actually use the one-way design um, in my routining. So as you can see, I have one card that's upside down and that's a, a key card for me. 
so that as I'm going through the cards, I know exactly um, where I'm supposed to be when I hit that upside down card. The faces of the cards all depict just various completely random images. And you can take the story that comes with the trick or you can make up your own story. But as you can see, they're really beautiful full color pictures. Of course, the other thing you will get is a video tutorial, which is 26 minutes long. Is it what I thought? It is what I thought. Um, even just opening the package and going through the cards, I think as a magician, you kind of look for certain things, little clues, and very first clue I saw, and I was like, oh yeah, I know what this is. And uh, you, you might know what it is too, right? It's, this is just a simple force. It's a simple force, and then from there, you do your reveal. And there's absolutely no sleight of hand. So how hard is this? Completely easy, beginner level. Beginner level. This feels like a really nice beginner's trick. This would be perfect uh, for introductory card magic. Of course, that means it cannot be inspected. So can it be inspected? No. Uh, the deck is fully gimmicked. The spectator can't grab it and look at it, go through it. They would immediately find out how it was done. How is the video? Uh, the video is nice. It's uh, Liam Montier. He's in a studio and he does a studio performance for the camera. And he'll talk to you about what you get how to set it up. He talks about patter. He goes through the performance at speed and he gives you several alternative handlings and ideas. Pocket space, we kind of talked about that already, right? Keep it all in the outer box, keep it all in the inner box or take everything out of its boxes and wrap it all with rubber band. I think you have all three of those options. So I think any one of those uh, would work. And it's not a full size uh, deck of 52 cards either. It's probably maybe a little bit over of a, of a half size of a deck. So it's, it doesn't take up much space at all. Angles wise, um, kind of goes with um, inspectability, right? I think there aren't any angles. And the only reason I was worried about showing you the whole card was because the camera sometimes picks up things that the human eye can't. And so in real life, they're probably not going to see the image of the skull until you tell them about it because you're already telling them the, this is a picture of birds, so they'll see birds, right? Expecting to see birds, they'll see birds. But if you showed it on camera, especially at a distance, the magic eye kind of effect happens where the camera picks up on it. So I had it up close so that it wouldn't, get, so that it wouldn't give it away. But yeah, um, set up and reset. You're gonna just go through your cards really quickly, make sure they're all in the right order, and you're good to go. So positives. It's another great trick from Dead Rebel. Um, I really do like it, even though it is like really easy and what most magicians would consider to be beginner level. The reason why I like it is because it doesn't give off the appearance of a beginner level trick. You know, it's not a bunch of bright colored plastic items. It's not a deck of cards that has a, you know, a Harlequin on the back <laughs> that, or bridge size cards that we've never seen before. It's really made to look grown up. And I think the, the way the cards look on the back and the front take away the idea that they could be um, gimmicked or playing cards, right? This is a deck of cards that you see in Magic. I mean, you can get a deck of playing cards that does the same exact effect, same exact setup, right? But now it's disguised because we're using pictures. And I think once you take a trick that we all know and lift it and put it into some other universe, it just becomes disarming and we see it in a different way. And I think that's what's kind of happening here. Negatives, of course, can't examine the deck. I think at the end of this, people might say, well, can I see all the cards, right? So you have to weigh out to deflect that. Um, and I think the way to deflect it is to do the um, examination of the cards when you go through them and do the force differently. I think the force that Liam teaches is very basic and very beginner level. I think a lot of you could come up with a better way to show all the cards different and to force the card. I think with more skill, right, you could, you could execute this better than how it's even presented. So yeah. Is it worth your money? It is 40 bucks, $40. And I know you can pick it up at Kmar Magic or uh, you can go look up Dead Rebel on eBay or just do a Google search. Just search for the portrait 
by Kmart Magic or the portrait by Dead Rebel and see who might else be carrying it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.